from the park that most people think is still ghetto comes an awesome upgrade to a terrible ride that will suddenly make people love it. Oh, sorry, you thought I was talking about Ninja? <laughs> nah, I was referring to Twisted Cyclone. All aboard the RMC hype train. Blue Hawk. AKA quite possibly one of the dumbest names given to a 21st century roller coaster. Like, Ninja wasn't a bad name, especially since the ride beat you up, so theming? But Blue Hawk? That doesn't reference anything. Sure, they painted the ride blue and all, but never in my life have I seen nor heard of a Blue Hawk. So either it's a mythological creature Six Flags ripped from Cedar Fair, or someone had way too much fun with a can of spray paint and vandalized a perfectly good bird. You hated Ninja and Ninja, but not that Ninja and just wanted to see Ninja and Ninja torn down, but not that Ninja. Okay, I mean, new colors look good. Uh, I'm not, I'm fine with that, but I think this ride would have been a lot better in the garbage. Exactly. You know what they should have done? Should have gotten a B&M. Boom, right on. Just be glad they did something about it. They could have just left it there. At least this increases ridership now. Does it though? Let's see here. Okay, so we got new colors, doesn't affect the ride, new trains, which helps, and track improvements, maybe? Still feels like a Vacoma, just saying. Approach the entrance for Blue Hawk and walk through the old Q house, where they left all the old ninja theming untouched. Yep, looks great as always. After waiting in no line at all, enter your car and pull down the new restraints as part of the upgrade. Okay, so if people consider Ruger a new credit because the train's restraint, name, and repaint, then why isn't Blue Hawk a new credit? Um, I'll let you guys fight in the comments about this one. I'm staying out of this. Pull out of the station and make a right-hand turn into a tiny dip because the designer didn't realize he built the station one foot higher than he was supposed to. And start ascending up an old classic chain lift. Like, when you hear that sound, you know something painful is about to happen. After what you thought was an e-stop at the peak, slowly descend down an angle of descent which is probably 30 degrees. And if the drop is typically the best part, then we're not off to a good start. Pull up into a double looping element that has probably some sort of name but we're too lazy to look it up. And fly into the first turn, banging your body up against the restraints of the side of the vehicle. And if those inversions weren't good enough for you, good news, there's one more. And if those three inversions weren't good enough for you, good news, there's two more. And if you're still alive by now, good news, the ride's almost over. But only after the brakes almost pulverize the back of your neck in a traditional Vacoma abrupt stop. Once again, taking you up an additional foot because Six Flags doesn't do math. You just gotta know how to ride it, you know, you can essentially feel where they stop welding it, so it's gotta work with it, you know what I mean? Well, as long as you're walking off with less injuries than what you got on Ninja. I mean, the GP seemed to be liking it, as you can see here by this empty station, so maybe Six Flags is onto something. Yeah, yeah, let's think about this for a bit. What if we took every terrible roller coaster and instead of replacing it with a better ride, we go halfway and fix part of it? Give it a new name, public thinks it's a new ride, and people are satisfied. Boom, I can hear the cash flow now. Hear that, Ninja, Viper, Boomerang, and Mind Eraser? You're next. Heck, let's just do it to every Vacoma because they all suck. You hear that, Vacoma? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Just stop making rides already. You suck, Don't Vacoma. Don't help, please stop. What? Why? Hey! Oh. My. God. Uh -oh. I've been looking for you guys for a long time. Oh, well, have you now? Well, that's just great. Gotta admit, it took me a little longer than I'd like to. I showed up to the old studio. No one was there. Well, yeah, we literally moved locations to get away from you. How did you find us? Oh. I placed a little tracker on your friend here. So every time he says Vacoma, it notifies me. What the heck? <sighs> oh, shucks. All right, enough sitting around. This time, what? both of oh, you are oh, coming no, with please. me. Listen, man, this shirt is $16. Oh, Watch it. Wow, you try one at me or something? Ah! Is he gone? Ah! 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 Couldn't he have just forced us to ride Nighthawk or something? Because uh, that would have been a more effective way of torture. Uh, Takata, we have to finish the parody. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can get out. Just finish it from in here. Are you serious? Yeah, just go for it. Uh, fine. Air Commander Experience, the number two worst attraction upgrade at Six Flags Over Georgia. Sorry, VR Daredevil Dive gets number one. Ah.